sir and uh, his sister. Oh, they they are amazing. Sir is eight. He's turning nine next month. Imagine. And yes, this. He's, I mean, he's concerned about his research work yeah. and yeah. What is he researching? He's pres- everything. Everything. He's he's every weekend. I mean, he doesn't have any time to play. I mean, when you talk to him, once oh, I want to do my research, and you should come and see him doing this PowerPoint. Oh. Yes, every weekend, and he's trying to take in all the knowledge in the world at once. Interesting. And interesting to 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 watch him i wonder what it will be like to be i mean i i know about sir because obviously you you do these whole radio interviews from time to time with him and uh you know on social media on instagram etc we see him on your videos so um i i know a lot about him in that regard um what is it like though being his father because he seems to be one of those yeah Yeah, because i remember (laughs) when he was one and a half you come daddy difficult one coming up so how did god make himself you know so he asked you that question <laughs> every time how did god make, make himself? himself because now he's trying to balance out um the big bang and the biblical one mm. he's asking me Which, so yeah. daddy how did adam understand the snake speak what happened when this so i mean are, are you saying that adam could speak the language of the animals mm. that the last strange one was he asked me that if that if you were abraham and i was isaac would you have cut off my head no way i wouldn't have cut off your head oh. but those were different times if yeah. you are seen trying to cut off your son's head right now you go Charlie, to jail. yeah of course you know so he's been asking strange questions what's the distance from here to up there <laughs> like very 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 strange and before he knows that this one will baffle so he, so about um three years ago mm. he he came to ask us what is radiation so yes, this is friday what night time of the, oh, i Lord. said go and ask your mommy <laughs> Why? And then the next morning he came back and said, What is radiation? I said, Ask your mind. Your mom, mom, mommy said I should ask you. Oh. So on the Sunday he said, ah, Daddy, this radiation you guys don't know. Can't you Google it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about Google before coming to you? <laughs> Why do I have a feeling you already had the answer? Oh, mm. don't mind him. Mm. Don't mind. That's a troublesome. It looks kid. like you guys are really like enjoying being parents. That's what it yes. seems to those of us, you know, who are observing. It's true. It's true. We are having fun. We are having fun. Because I, I know that whatever it is that you are doing if you decide to make it fun and exciting it is what you've decided it is true you know and so i am not um letting the whole concept of being a parent or being a husband i'm not i don't let it come into my way i always look at it from a from a silver lining point of view because i mean i mean if i i I didn't have a son if i didn't have a daughter would i be happy Mm. Yeah, so since I am enjoying it, I've decided to make sure that I put in all the necessary effort to make sure that I can enjoy it for a longer time. Right. So it's stressful sometimes, but I enjoy it. And this isn't the first time I've said this to you. You guys, like, you're, you're one of the few families that leave the rest of us, like, jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could totally be... A publicity stunt and i don't know what happens like in your bedroom so to speak i know it's not going to be all rosy i mean there are those moments but but i think you you and i use this word very lightly you play it out very Uh, well it's not played out to tell you the truth the first seven years of my relationship the biggest joke in my family Mm. was are we having our first fight the first seven years we've married for nine years and you you hadn't fought since then never you Never. haven't fought for seven years i'm telling you it is during the seventh year that we had a proper fight and was it like a major blowout it was a, it was a, it was, was a it disaster what was it about? I, I can tell you why not <laughs> Who's yeah, was it? go on yeah <laughs> tell us come it's on a, yeah man it was it was it was something else it was something else but the first seven years and then we had a fight and then beyond that fight it's then the, the uh, yes a, a few times but it's it borders on the lines of leadership you know because you know i work with my wife mm. and then um her leadership style is very aggressive mm. you know and i i'm passive in that you know so finding a balance mm. some of the decisions that he, she makes regarding business and i think oh, no 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 this should have gone like that but because she is who she is you know so you know yeah. one of them backfired in her face mm. I, I told you I so. was, I was, you yes i was vindicated yeah. yes you know so <laughs> that that is the thing that yeah. that happened but beyond that you know apart from work related issues we never fight about anything wow. I, and i'm not you're not even I'm not like, really? if if my my wife wasn't an, an introvert like she is mm. 
uh, we would have been something else if she was like like, like me mm. you could show you every, I, I i think that by now we would have had like uh uh keeping up with the kardashian you have the old case <laughs> y'all should like, totally do it that she won't do I, it she won't no. do it she won't do she it. Wouldn't let cameras into her life no like no, that. no 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 she won't she that she's a very very quiet private person private person and even look at what we do yeah that's <laughs> yeah. interesting yes because i hosted her on sister sister once i remember yes and that was quite an interesting episode just even hearing you know mm -hmm. how she uh thought about various issues yes great stuff that's and, wow and another thing that's interesting is that you know if i go out and i i meet a girl that I, I, I'm having a crash on. I can go home and tell my wife. No. Say, Charlie, I met Jessica today. You're Charlie had cleavage. Charlie. Okay. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, Jessica. <laughs> Charlie, can I call her? It's over for your call. Oh, and really? Yeah, same way. And you guys just joke about it? Yes. So if every time I've had, um, I've seen you and I, I, I found you interesting. I'm going to tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is it. We Have don't. you ever cheated on your wife? No, never. Uh -oh. Really? But, but it comes inside my head <laughs> a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> You're honest about it. Yes, yes. And yes, whatever yes. it comes into your head. Okay, so I tell. Let, good, good. So I've just discovered your strategy. Okay. You know when you're with your partner and you have a crush on another person, mm, totally. telling them about it sort of helps you. Yes. yes. And puts you in check. Yes. Exactly. Period. That's what you do. Exactly. That's, Macho. What, I do. That's what I do. Macho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Sandy, you can relate, right? I yeah. totally get it. Sharp. And, and you know what? Move. Yes. And once, move. once you are bold enough to tell your partner that I think this woman is interesting in this way, immediately um, she begins to look at both of you. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's also a deterrent right there. Yeah. Or a decoy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's someone else so you oh, can tell her. to distract her. But yes, I, I, I mean, the, the whole reason why, about last week I was... Um, I was talking to my, I was asking my wife, don't you get scared that one day I'll cheat? And she said, no. She doesn't get scared. She no. You didn't, you all. don't give her reasons to, so I, I guess. That she said that she knows that you, I know you, you are a very proud person. <laughs> arrogant about this, I don't cheat thing. And you want to, we want to sustain it till the end. Yeah. So I'm not even bothered. Wow. Yeah, she knows. She knows that I'm just arrogant. I want to be 60 years old and put in my tell it all book that I was married for X amount of years. I never, I mean, to me, it's, 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 it's yeah. something, it's, it's, it's something that other brothers can have. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I proud about it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I feel you on that one. Yeah. But you know, there are also <laughs> schools of thought mm -hmm. that take cheating beyond just physical. It's true. So have you been cheating your head? No. Oh. You know, if I, if I, this is. <laughs> This is how, if if I, I I see you and I find you interesting, and I begin to send you love emojis and I begin to awaken that side of your thinking to let you know that something that something could have been to <laughs> what I've, what might have been but never was, then I'm cheating. But it's, if it's in my head and I've not told you, sure. you don't know about it, so you can begin to see my wife in a certain way. Then I've not cheated. Plus, the cheating is also not just an issue of um, physical. It's also doing something beyond or behind somebody that you've promised that you won't do. Mm. So if I've already gone to tell the person yeah. that this is in my head, then I'm not cheating mm. <laughs> at all. Mm. You know, so if it's in my head and you and I begin to have a, a, that discussion and that route without her, and I'm sharing things with you that I'm supposed to share with her, with you, then we are cheating on her. Right. But if I'm not doing that and it's in my head, head, then you're good to go. Exactly. And I've also even gone to move to the next level of telling her that this is in my head. There was one time that she used to work with um, with uh, Unilever. So mm -hmm. her bosses were in Korea. She was an employer brand specialist for West Africa. Some work with people from Ivory Coast, Burkina. And so when... In the evening, when I come, she say, I'm tired. I need to finish this proposal. I need to. I said, really? There's this girl that I am eyeing. So this is her number. Call her. Tell her that I want her to come and continue this job for you. Eesh. Yeah, because <laughs> you have to be in the know. But this is what I'm thinking mm. at this time. And then she quit the job. Come and work with me. <laughs> so 42 years of life. I need you to just give me like your top three life lessons what would you say i mean what has life taught you 42 years mm. the first one that all my younger brothers know no assumptions mm. never every time i have assumed anything i have caused trouble 
make sure that you hear the full length of the of, of the facts before you make a move okay no assumptions, assumptions. i'm taking notes mm -hmm. okay because once you assume that's your ego speaking to you and you might no no assumptions the second one is that You have to be focused, but I don't know how to say it, 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 how I wanted to mm. say it. You have to be determined to do. To, you have to listen to the your inner voice. Mm. So if I if I put um, top ten rich people in Ghana, say let's say Samens, <laughs> <laughs> despite uh, mm. you can see that all of them do different things. True. So, but. Each one of them is su successful in that area. So that thing that is in your head that you want to do, listen to it mm. and do that one because everybody can be successful from doing anything if the person is passionate about it and has enough knowledge and is willing to walk the extra. So listen to yourself, mm. not anybody, right. yourself. The third one, 42, will be... Uh, for me is lead your life every day knowing that before you sleep whatever you did during that day gives you peace hmm. so make peace the most important thing in your life make peace the most important thing yes in your life because if peace is most important thing in your life and you are an MP and someone is giving you a, a, a bribe or a gift you will not take it because you know that 20 years after you go to jail <laughs> and that time you will not enjoy the peace mm. so it's it's not uh whatever you are doing make peace like a, not don't make it a job make it a career work every day towards having peace forever till you die for me mm. i think these are the three most important things i like it i like it no assumptions listen to your inner voice make peace the most important thing in your life <laughs>